Hello everyone. Welcome to the course on General Physics 2. So this is the second part of the two semester course on General Physics. So in this part we'll try to focus mainly on three parts. So we'll try to focus mainly on the applications of, bio of biology and life sciences in physics, but we'll also try to focus on understanding the basic principles of physics. So in the course outline, we divide this part into three parts. So we divide general physics two into three parts. So the part one is optics, where we discuss light and reflection, refraction and interference and diffraction. So basically geometrical optics and physical optics. So where the light acts as a ray and the light acts as a wave. And in part two, we'll discuss electricity and magnetism. So we'll talk about electric forces and fields and we'll talk, then move to so the general electricity, which is electrical energy and current. And then we'll talk about circuits and what are the different circuit elements. And then we'll come back to magnetism and electromagnetic induction. So and in part three, we'll talk about the modern physics, which is atomic physics and subatomic physics. Subatomic physics basically is nuclear physics. So in terms of the grading scheme for the course, so we'll have graded quizzes about 17.5%, midterm examination about 17.5%, active learning assignments about 20%, and professionalism 10%, and comprehensive final examination about 35%. So this is the main components in the course. So in terms of the resources, I will be providing a comprehensive pre-recorded video lecture for each and every chapter on Canvas. You can find it on the modules or on the homepage. So the text I recommend is Holt McDougall Physics. So this is a, a PDF file is already on Canvas. You can use that under the resource module in Canvas. So you can use that to uh, download the textbook and use it. So for the doubt clearance, so after you're conducting the lecture, uh, after I've, at the end of the week, I'll be conducting every Friday from one to three, I'll be conducting a doubt clearance session. So you can contact me during the week if you have any doubts. So the session will be done using Google Meet, so which is available on part as part of the G Suite package. So to attend this link, I'll be sending a meeting link prior to the session so that you can attend the session. And in terms of the exams, all the exams will be proctored and the graded quizzes will be held from every held every Friday from one to two, unless that I specify that it will not be held the the prior week. So the proctoring will be done using Google Meet. So I'll be sending the meeting link to access that. And any non-proctored exam will not be counted towards the final grade. For the schedule for midterm examinations and final examinations, uh, consult the uh, schedule for the total semester, the summer 2020 schedule. You can uh, find it, uh, the Dr. Pocheco would have already sent you that particular uh, schedule. In terms of the assignments, Active learning assignments, that's assignments are generally should be completed in a given time frame. These can be either simulations or written assignments. So uh, the form of submission will be through Canvas. I will be giving out full instructions on how to use Canvas to upload the uh, assignments on Canvas. And if you delay above beyond the time frame that I give it, then uh, sub there will be a substantial reduction in the score that you get for that particular assignment. So for further information, if you have any other doubts, please contact me on my email and I am very delighted to welcome you to the semester 3. So let's hope you have a good semester and I will see you in the next lecture.